Good morning and Shabbat Shalom. I'm Rabbi Dennis Sasso, Congregation Beth El Tzedek in Indianapolis, along with cantor Melissa Cohen and our organist Charles Manning. We welcome you to this morning's Shabbat service and special celebration when we extend a welcome particularly to our B'nai Mitzvah, Evan and Noah Rudy, and uh, to their parents, Courtney and Michael, to grandparents, Alan and Bunny Young, and to the family who have come to Beth El Tzedek this morning, and those of you who join us by live stream. I'd like to direct your attention to our resources at bez613.org, where you can find links to the prayer book, Lev Shalim, and other materials that will be used later on during the service. Now, we know that many of you would have wanted to attend the celebration in person, but we are grateful for the virtual technology that allows us to come together beyond walls. Special thanks to our executive director, Sherry Lip Levine, our communicators, coordinate, communications coordinator, Jackie Goldstein, and our skilled volunteer, Tori Irvin, and to all our Beth El Tzedek staff for their technical assistance and for maintaining our facility above and beyond the necessary health protocols. So in keeping with our congregational and CDC protocols, we remind those in attendance to show your best face and be masked. Beyond attention to these public health rules, we will overcome social distancing with the warm feelings of affection for our wonderful B'nai Mitzvah and for their family. Evan and Noah, enjoy and savor the memories. Shabbat Shalom and Mazel Tov. Our services uh, will be conducted from the Sidur Lev Shalem, which as I indicated, you can access from the uh, resources uh, in our website. And uh, we will begin on page 101. Uh, the cantor will open the service with verses from Matovu, expressing our joy at coming together for worship on this Shabbat. Welcome Evan and Noah to the pulpit and they will now lead us in the Birchot HaShachar, morning blessings of thanksgiving for the beginning of a new day. Please uh, follow on page 103 and 104. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Nantam Lesech Vivina, Lev Halchein Ben Yom Uven Laila. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sha'asani Betzomo Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sha'asani Ben Hori Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sha'asani Yisrael Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bokeach Ivrim Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Malbish Arumi Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Matir Asurim Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Zoket Ketufim Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Roka Haaretz Al Hamayim Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Se'asali Kotzor Ki. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Oze Yisrael Bihura. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Otir Yisrael Betifara. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Amen. We continue on page 122, 
And uh, from addressing our personal needs, we turn now to a celebration of the world's grandeur, Baruch She'amar, page 122. Baruch She'amar Baruch 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 Gozem Kayem, Baruch Merakem al Haaretz, Baruch Merahem al Habriyo, Baruch Meshalem Sakatov Lirea, Baruch Ala Ale Kayam Anetza, Baruch Bode Umatzil, Baruch Shema. We invite uh, the boys back to their seats and the cantor will lead us on page 141 in the singing of uh, verses from Psalm 150. Hallelujah. <laughs> The soul of all that lives praises your name, Adonai, our God, and the spirit of all flesh exalts you, our sovereign, always. We continue with the introduction to the morning liturgy, the morning prayers on page 147, Shochein Ad Marom. Invite you to rise as you are able and uh, Evan and Noah continue on page 148 with the Hatsi Kaddish. It got all it get a shimmer, Abba. Amen. May Almighty Rahu Tevel Michal Hute. Mechon, Uvio Mechon, Uvaye de Fulbet Israel. Bagala Uviz Mankari. May Maru. Amen. Ye Shmei Rabba Mevorah. Leola Muleol Meol Maya, Yit Barach. Ikara Vishava, Ikara Vichola Vinase, 
Vita dar, vita le, vita la. Shame de kudisha, briku. Le ela mi kole tabishi rata. Tu shbekata, neke mata. Dani rame alma. The emaru. Amen. As the barmit, the name mitzvah return to their seats. We remain standing. And the cantor continues on page 149 with the Baruch Hu, the call to morning prayer. Praise are you, Adonai, sovereign of time and space, who forms light, creates darkness, and brings harmony to all creation. You may be seated, and we turn to page 151, El Adon, the medieval song of creation. Ladon, which the cantor has just chanted, is a celebration of the physical world, of the universe in which we live. And then we turn to page 154 for the prayer known as Ahava Rabba Ahavtanu. It is a prayer of thanksgiving for the Torah, which is the blueprint that helps us to live in the world of creation. You have loved us deeply, Adonai, our God, and showered us with boundless compassion. For the sake of our ancestors who trusted in you and to whom you taught the laws of life, so may you be gracious to us and instruct us. Kind creator, have compassion for us, open our hearts, that we may understand and discern, hear and study, observe, perform, and fulfill all the teachings of your Torah with love. Enlighten our eyes with your Torah and attach our hearts to, you, to your mitzvot, unifying our hearts to love and honor your name so that we may never lose hope. Baruch Hu Baruch Shemo Amen. Page 155, we rise for the affirmation of faith, the Shema. Shem kevod malchuto leolam vaed. Ve'ahavta ha'et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavecha u'bechol nafshecha u'bechol meodecha 
והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצדך היום לבדך Continue through page 156 with the remainder of the Shema. Remember then to observe my mitzvot and be holy unto your God. I am Adonai your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God, I the eternal am your God in truth. May be seated and we continue on page 158. Shema ends with a remembrance of the exodus from bondage and the journey to freedom. And now we sing the words that Moses, Miriam, and the Israelites sang uh, on their journey to the land of promise. Mi page 158. Once again, we ask you if you're able to rise as the cantor introduces the Amida beginning at page 159. We will chant the first uh, three pages together and then continue silently. Oh, my God. 
The silent prayer continues through page 166, and to the words of tradition, we invite you to add the prayer and meditation that is in your own hearts. We pause for a moment of silent prayer.
May the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, Adonai, our rock and our redeemer. May you who create peace, the universe, grant peace to us, to Israel, and to all humanity. And let us say, Amen. You may be seated. The cantor concludes this moment in the service on page 167 with the Kaddish Shalem. Amen. As we are about to introduce the uh, Torah service of this morning, and we will be hearing a little bit later from our B'nai Mitzvah, uh, who have prepared a teaching uh, regarding this week's very special reading. Um, you will also have an opportunity, if you haven't done so yet, to visit our website, and there uh, Rabbi Jenny Greenspan uh, taught a session this morning about uh, the subject of this week's Torah portion. This morning's Torah portion is entitled Breshit, and it brings us to the very beginning of the Torah. Last week we celebrated a holiday known as Simchat Torah, the rejoicing with the Torah, when we finished reading the entire scroll with the book of Deuteronomy and immediately went to the very beginning. On this Shabbat, we start the cycle, the yearly cycle of reading the Torah from the beginning. The name of the Torah portion is Bereshit, uh, which can be translated either as in the beginning or when God began to create. Because the portion, this, the biblical teaching, does not assume that there was nothing there and all of a sudden, poof. Creation is not a process of making something out of nothing. It is a process of making something new out of something that existed before in a different way. We learned several things in uh, contemplating this collection of uh, books that we know as the Torah, five books that we keep in the Holy Ark. That is just the first part of the Bible. The Bible is not five books, it's 24 books, because in addition to the Torah, there is a second section known as the prophets, and then a third section known as the writings. Total, 24 books. In Hebrew, we refer to that collection as Tanakh, which means Torah, Prophets, Writings. That's an acronym. We also call this book the Bible. It's not a Hebrew word. It's a Greek term. The word Bible comes from the Greek Biblia, which means the books. So the first thing to keep in mind is that the Torah and the Bible as a whole are not a book. They are a collection of books, an anthology. And um, we uh, bring them together and need to understand them in their historical and textual diversity as we move through them. Uh, in the book of Genesis, which we begin reading on this Shabbat, we will find a collection of ancient stories and legends and prehistorical recollections, and then we move into the realm of historical memory. Uh, these ancient stories share a great deal with early myths of the peoples of Mesopotamia, the Sumerians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, but they are retold in the context of the Israelite experience. The stories in Genesis that we read this week and in the weeks ahead 
attempt to answer basic human questions about the world. How come things are the way they are? Light, darkness, heaven, earth, dry land, waters. How did all this begin to happen? And then the next step is, how come human beings are the way they are? In some ways similar to animals, yet also different. How come there is evil and violence in the world? How come people speak different languages? This is the theme of the early chapters in the Torah. The purpose is not to teach science, but values. To attempt to read the biblical narrative as a scientific narrative is to misunderstand it. It's not a book of science. It is a book of values, of human orientation towards the world. What impact do those stories have on human character? What do they teach us about relationships, about responsibility to others and to the world in which we live? So the Bible, the total package, is more than a book of laws and rituals, of poetry and of history. I like to think of it, especially in these early chapters, as our first family album. It is the earliest record of our people's origins and their first efforts to find purpose, meaning, direction in life and in history. There are several key themes in these early chapters of Genesis. The first one, I already hinted at, God creates the world, according to the story, out of chaos. That is, there was nothing, it is not that there was nothing and then there was something. It is that there was something and then something better emerged. Out of chaos, cosmos. Cosmos means order. So it's an ordering of the mushy reality that existed at a certain point. And you can begin to intuit some associations there that, uh, in, in fact, science uh, can uh, have some substantiation for. But we miss the point if we take the Bible literally as though it were a scientific text. We are supposed to take the Bible seriously, but not literally. So out of disarray and bewilderment come new ideas, new possibilities. Creation is not the making of something out of nothing, but something new out of something before it. And so it is with ideas. Our ideas don't come from nowhere. They come from somewhere, but they are new. There are new organizing. There are new ways of looking at things. There are new ways of ordering knowledge and the universe. Interestingly, in these chapters, God speaks the world into being in the early chapters. Language is a creation tool. It is a reminder to us that words have power. Words can create or destroy. They can hurt or bless. They can heal or curse. Another lesson is that nature and human nature are interdependent. We are not to abuse nature and alienate ourselves from it. The human being Adam, Adam in Hebrew, comes from Adama, which is the Hebrew word for earth. The human and the earth are of one piece. Earth, stars, and humans share the ingredients of a common DNA and a common destiny. And finally, a lesson from uh, this Torah portion is that the world does not end with things. The Sabbath is the culmination of creation. We are, remember, we are reminded that not things, but time is holy. And relationships are what give life its depth, its purpose, its meaning, and its sanctity. So the Sabbath is established as the first holy reality in the story of creation. Everything is declared good but the Sabbath is declared holy. So the Bible begins in this week's Torah portion with two basic questions, and um, we are actually reading the last 
third of this week's Torah portion, so this will not be part of the reading. We read the Bible in a triennial cycle, one third, one third, one third, second, third, second, and to complete it in a cycle of three years. But in the very beginning, the Bible begins with questions. And the two most important questions are, where are you? That is God's question to Adam. And where is your brother? That is God's question to Cain. Where are you? Where is your brother, your sister, your neighbor? And Judaism asks us the same questions today. Where are we? What are we making of our lives? Where is our brother, our sister, our fellow human being? And what are we making of relationships with them? And how are we using our time to sanctify moments? The most important thing that we have to bear in mind is that the Bible is not a book about answers. It is a book about questions. Torah is not a ready-made package deal given once and for all. It is a quest, the quest of Israel, a search in every generation. Creation, about which we read in this week's portion, is not finished. It's an ongoing process. And finally, the Bible is not the last word, as some people like to look at it. The Bible is the first word of an ongoing conversation. With today's Torah portion on this B'nai Mitzvah Shabbat, Evan and Noah, you become part of the conversation. You assume your important role in the dialogue of the generations. We know that you will be an important part of our people's conversation with the God of history. Shabbat Shalom, Mazel Tov. We are um, at this moment going to turn to page 168 uh, and then momentarily after we uh, introduce the uh, Torah service we're going to be turning to the reading of the Torah from the uh, Eitz Chaim Torah commentary and uh, this is in the resources but you may also access uh, at the entrance. We ask you to rise as the doors of the ark are opened by cousins, Lissy and Zoe Koberlein. Thank you. 
This is the Torah, Israel's covenant of truth and righteousness, transmitted through the long generations of our people, from Moses to the prophets, from rabbis to disciples, from parents to children, and from the people Israel to the world. On this Shabbat, we continue this long chain of tradition, as in the presence of their grandfather and parents, Evan and Noah receive the Torah. At this moment, we honor the memory also of grandparents not present, Roz and Eric and Maribeth, and we are honored to have great aunt Anne Sirota representing the generations. So as the boys receive the Torah from their parents, they will be prepared to recite the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gado Adonainu, Gado Shemo. Echad Eloheinu, Gado Adonainu, Gado Shemo. Evan and Noah, this doesn't seem possible that today you are becoming B'nai Mitzvah together. A little over 13 years ago, mom and I went to the doctor's office for her 20-week ultrasound appointment to find out if we were having a boy or a girl. I remember vividly the moment that the technician looked up at the video screen and then looked back at us and said, you know, you're having twins. Baby A and Baby B were happening. And like that, you turned our little family of three into a family of five. I admit, I had to excuse myself from that extremely hot medical room for a moment to splash some cold water on my face and take a couple very slow, deep breaths. 
But after we gathered ourselves, Mom and I went out into the world and told everyone our news. We are having a boy and another boy. A lot of time has passed since you were born, and like your brother Elliot, you have studied and put in the hard work to become bar mitzvah together. I feel an overwhelming sense of joy and pride that on this day, you are carrying on the traditions of our family and the Jewish people. My mom, your bubby, always made our Jewish heritage a priority. Seeing the two of you up here leading today's service would have filled her heart with happiness. I am grateful for Bubby's commitment to our traditions and how deeply she instilled that commitment to me to pass down to both of you. The importance of family, having kindness and compassion for all, and being generous with your time are values that Bubby always impressed upon me. And I hope that you can take these values with you throughout your lives. We love you. Evan and Noah. Evan and Noah. Evan and Noah. If you say it fast enough, it blurs together and it makes the two of you one. Like, Evan and Noah have Hebrew tonight. Evan and Noah have a dentist appointment. Evan and Noah want pizza for dinner. As two people formed at exactly the same time and born at the same time, it's easy to try to think of the two of you as one. People often think twins are two for one. They're not. <laughs> when you were born, your dad swore you were identical and insisted on having the placentas genetically tested. But as we can see now, thinking of the two of you as one, or even the same, is way off. Evan, your paintings, drawings, and music bring such a bright light to our lives. You have a spark of creativity that always has you making and creating. We look forward to seeing what you bring home from art class every week, and we are continuously amazed. Your piano playing fills the house with all kinds of music and brings us so much joy. I hope that you can continue to keep your creativity thriving. Your artistic expression can enrich the lives of people who experience it and can create good in the world. Noah, we love being your biggest fans on the basketball court. You play with so much focus and determination. You play hard in every game, and you always give it everything you've got. You show so much grit in what you take on, both on and off the court. You aren't afraid to work hard to achieve what you want. You have a wonderful circle of friends with whom you are so close. And in turn, we've become friends with their families. You have made connections for us that have enriched our lives. I hope that you continue to work hard and never give up on achieving what you want. I know that you will use that determination to make the world a better place. Keep connecting people and good things will come out of it. You are unique from each other, two distinct people with different talents and skills. I hope you can both celebrate each other's unique gifts but also stay as close to each other as the day you were born. Love you. Evan and Noah, please come to the doctor's seat. Mom and Dad are going to join me. Now we turn to the uh, reading of the. Uh, Torah portion for this Shabbat. And for those of you who are following in the Eitz Chaim uh, Torah commentary, we are reading at chapter 5, verse 21. We're going to be reading the uh, closing section of this week's Torah portion. And uh, we uh, honor three aliyot on this uh, Shabbat. And for the first aliyah, we call on mom and dad. Uh, Courtney and Mike Rudy to recite the Torah blessings. Baruch Adonai Hamborah. Baruch Adonai Mevorach. Leolam Vayed. 
Baruch Adonai Havrach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kedeshanu Oh, Asher Kedeshanu Asher Oh, this is the wrong one. That's okay. Asher Kedeshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu V'chatev Batsi No. It's okay. That's what the boys say. I'm looking at the wrong page there. Mike, how long has it been? <laughs> Courtney, help him there. <laughs> Amin, Avayechi, Hichano, Hamisha, Shishim, Shana, Vayola, Vayola, Et Metushana, Vita Lehano, Et Elohim, Achare, Holy, Dot, Metushana, Shalosh, Meot, Shana, Vayole, Banim, Uvano, Vayehi, Koyamehano, Hamish, Shishim, Shana, Ushalosh, Meot, Shana. The Yitalehanok at Hilohim, the Nenu Kilaka Hoto Elohim Baruka Ta Adonai, Elohinu Melechalam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Mehmet, the Hyole Alam Nata Betuhenu, Baruka Ta Adonai, no Tain Hatorah. Amen. Nala Amochi. For the second Aliyah, we invite brother Elliot Rudy and cousin Sarah Kaminker to recite the blessings, and we ask you to do it from the stand there. Baruch Adonai Amorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch atah Adonai Shanaha ume at Shanava yoled et lamet et lamer, Vayeki himetu shahela hakare, Olido hot la et lamer, Shetahim ushmoni mashani shanaha, Usheva hame ohot, Shanava yoled bani himuvanohot, Vayi hu call yame himetu shella, Tisha vishishim shanaha. Utisha me oh shana vea moho de vehile mech. Shetahai mushmoni him shana umi at shana veo led a bain. Vei kraha et shemoho no ach ni mor. Ze yena kaminu mi ma asinu umi it of a honia dinu min ha adama sher a irara adonai. Thank <laughs> For the third Aliyah, we invite aunt and uncle Jenna and Lane Lowenstein. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch 
Amen. We ask you to rise for the Hatsi Kaddish as we transition to calling our B'nai Mitzvah to the Torah. Amen. May be seated as we call our B'nai Mitzvah to the chanting of the Maftir. Yohanan Asher ben Meir Baruch Udvora Ariella Bar Har Mitzvah Maftir Kahazak. Mom and Dad, come and stand with the boys. Baruchu et Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim. Ben Atam Lanu et Torto. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Bayahar Adonai ki raba ra'at hadam ba'aretz lecho yetzer machshevo libo rak rak hol hayom vayina chem Adonai ki asa et hadam ba'aretz veyitatzev el libo vayom er Adonai hemche et hadam asher barati me'al pene ha'adama. Adam ad behema ad remes viad of Hashemain ki mi chamti ki asitim benoach matzachen be ene adonai. Baruch ata adonai aloheinu malacholam 
Ashen Atam Manu Torah, Eme, Zekaye Olam, Nata, Bedokainu, Baruch, Ata, Adonai, Notain, Hatora. Amen. Something very lovely about what uh, Evan just read, the very last line of this week's Torah portion is, but Noah found grace in the eyes of God. Because next week's Torah portion is entitled, Noah. And then the week after that is entitled, Evan. No, I don't think so. We'd have to write a separate uh, chapter. Um, so now we turn to Noah. Nala amo ho ho tabachord Noach Martinin ben Meir Baruch udavora Ari Alabard hamitzvah maftir chasak. Baruch and I have 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 Baruch Ra'a ta'adam ba'aret v'cho yetzer makshivot libo ra'a ko hayom v'yina chem adonai ki asa e'adam ba'aret v'it atsev el libo v'yomer adonai em he'adam asher barati Meo pene hadama, me idam ad behema, a remes fair o hashamain, ki ni hamti ki asitim, Vinoach matzahain be in a alunai. Bayu hata alunai, Elohim no kaum. Please rise as the Torah scroll is raised and dressed. Please be seated. Noah and Evan will now chant the Haftarah, which is the selection from the prophets that corresponds to this week's Torah portion. It's from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, and it picks up with the theme of creation. And uh, uh, for the artist in one of our B'nai Mitzvah, here we see the illusion that God created the heavens and stretched them out like a canvas upon which the world was then painted. We continue then on page 36 of the Eitz Chaim Torah Commentary. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Vivim tovim, Riatavadi Raham, Hanet Marim, the Emet, Baruchata, Adonai, Havoher, Batara, 
Umoshe Avdo Uvisrael Amo Uvie Haemet Batsech Hoamar Hael Unai Bore Hashamayim Vino Tehem Roka Haaret Vetze Ipsa Echa no tame Mishama, the arm Aleha, the Rua, the Hochimba, Ani Alonai, Kerati Havet Serech, the Ozdek Beadeha, the Etsur Ha, the Neha, we re arm the Orgo with Koach in a road, the Hotzi mi masker atir mi bekele yosh bechoshech ani alonai ushemi ufodi lacher lo etain utehilati lapsili. Harishanov, Minebau, Vehadashot, Ani Magi, Betam Titmachna, Ashmia at him. She ruled on I, she had us, Tehila to, Migzeha Aret, your day, Hayam, Mlo, Ee, Yoshvehem. Yisu Midbar, Be Arav, Chatseri, Teshev Kedar, Yaronu, Yosh, Be Sela, Rosh Harim, Yitzvahu, Yasimu La Adonai, Kavod, Utehilato, Ba'im Yagidu, Al Tirat. Kitzcha ani mi mizrach avi zarecha umi ma'arav akabzeka omar la tzafon teini ul teman al tichla i havi v'nai merachok uvenotai mixecha aret kol hani gravi shmi velech vodi v'artiv yetzartiv af asitiv. Hotzi ami ver vehem naim yesh vechershim veoz naim lamo kol hago yihim nik betzu yachdav veasfu leumim mi vachem yagid zot vevershonot yashmi unu yitnu elehem veyitzdaku veishmeu veomru emet Atem me dine and muadonai. They have dee. Asher bacharti. Leman te tu. Beta minu li. Beta vinu ki ani hu. Lefanai. Lo notes are el. They are I. Lo vie. Baruch. Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Aulam Tzor Kol HaOlamim Tzavdik Bechol Adorot Ha'el Ha'neiman Ha'omer Ve'oseh Ha'madaber Mekayim Shechol Devarav Emet Vatzedek Ne'eman Ata Hu Adonai Eloheinu Menemanim Devarecha Ve'devar Echad Midvarecha Ahor Lo Yashuv Rikan Ki El Melech Ne'eman Ve'rachaman Ata Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hanaiman Bechod of Rav Rachem Altsion Ki Beit Hainu Bela Luet Nefesh Toshia Bime Rav Amenu Baruch Ata Adonai Mesameh Sion Babaneha Sahainu Adonai Elohainu the Eliyahu Hanaviv Adecha, Umahu Beit David Meshlichecha, 
Steam hey Raya Bow Say I go, we may do all key solo your chefs are fellow you call who old ah hairy at will go Kavish and Coach Hanish Batalo Shallo you finaro Elamba Baruchata Adonai Magain Dadi Oh Torah they have all da they have the Yom Hashaba has a Shinata Tawanu Adonai El Hainu. Did you shabu you ha? They have all you keep our red. I'll have for Adonai El Hainu. Nach new mode you ma. Umvarahim O ta. Eat barb shim ha. You keep for hot. Tommy Belam by a. Baruchata Adonai Mikadesh Hashabat Simantov, Masantov, Masantov, Before returning the Torah scroll to the Ark, we will announce uh, the new month, which begins this coming week. Follow the prayer on page 180. May the new month bring renewal to our lives, renewal of wonder, renewal of freedom, renewal of love and justice, of friendship, and of holiness. Chodesh Bar Cheshvan, Yehiye Beyom Revi'i, Beyom Hamishi, Aba Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Letova, the new month of Cheshvan will begin on Wednesday and Thursday of the coming week. May it bring blessing to us and the entire household of Israel. Yes, 
ask you to remain standing and we invite our B'nai Mitzvah, Evan and Noah, to open the doors of the ark as the cantor returns the scroll to the Aron HaKodesh. <laughs> Evan and Noah will now share with us uh, their reflections on this week's Torah lesson and uh, the significance of this day in their lives. My Torah portion is Bereshit, or Genesis, when God created the universe. Torah tells us God created light and darkness on the first day. On the second day, God made sky, and on the third day, God created earth and vegetation. On the fourth day, day and night were created to separate the light and the darkness. Animals were created on the fifth day, and God blessed them and said to be fruitful and multiply. God made humans in the divine image on the sixth day. God ceased work on the seventh day and made it holy. And as the Torah tells it, God did this all in seven days. Of course, this is not a story about scientific facts, are meant to give the explanation on how the earth was formed. This story is meant to give us inspiration to think about our magnificent world and the gift of life. The first event in the Torah is creation. Rabbi Adina Allen of the Jewish Studio Project writes that God is first and foremost a creator. The Torah teaches us that the fundamental nature of God is to be creative. Human beings are created in the image of God, so people are made to be creative, and there's creativity in all of us. Rabbi Allen also teaches that each time after God created something, God said, Bayar Elohim Kitov. This means God saw that it was good. Being creative brings more goodness into the world. I love art and being creative. It helps me express myself. My favorite medium to paint with is watercolor. I love how you can mix colors and use paint and water to get so many shades and tones of colors. When I paint, I make something where there is nothing there before. I always hope my paintings can bring joy or even have an impact on people's lives and in this way bring something good into the world. Something we can learn from this Torah portion is that being creative is part of being human and expressing our creativity honors God. My Torah portion is Bereshit. It is about the creation of the world. One of the stories is about Cain and Abel, the first two brothers. Their parents are Adam and Eve. As adults, Cain and Abel made offerings to God. Cain was a farmer and brought fruit of the soil. 
Abel was a shepherd and gave an offering of the best of his flock. God liked Abel's offering more than Cain's. Cain got mad and ended up killing Abel. God asked Cain where Abel is after he murders him. Cain says, am I my brother's keeper? God knew that Cain killed Abel and curses Cain to wander endlessly. This section is interesting to me because I have a twin brother and I know what it feels like to be really angry at a brother. <laughs> right before the murder, Cain says something to Abel, but the Torah doesn't tell us what. Maybe as brothers, he knew how to push Abel's buttons, and Abel knew how to push back, and anger got up hand. Evan and I definitely know how to push each other's buttons just to make the other person mad. For example, Evan drives me nuts when he is constantly singing and making extra noises for his imaginary TikTok videos. <laughs> I cannot even tell you how much it annoys me. I get so mad, I want to hit him, and I'm sorry to admit that sometimes I actually do hit him. Those are the times my anger gets the best of me. God tells Cain, if you do right, there's uplift, but if you do not do right, sin is crouching at the door. I think God is saying that people have a choice and they can do the right thing by calming their anger or they can be overwhelmed with anger. We choose to do good or evil. Something we can learn from this section is that I shouldn't get worked up about the small things and that I really need to stop pushing Evan's buttons just for the fun of it. Cain asked God, am I my brother's keeper? Keeper in Hebrew also means guardian. Cain did not believe he was responsible for caring for his brother. So, when they got angry and fought, Cain killed Abel. We learn in this Torah portion that you are everyone's keeper and everyone's your keeper. Human life is sacred, and we must take care of each other. We are responsible for one another. Thank you, Rabbi Dennis, for being our rabbi for all these years. We appreciate your leadership and wisdom. Thank you, Rabbi Jenny, for helping us plan our speeches and coaching us on Hebrew. You really helped us understand our Torah portion and connect it with our own lives. Thank you, Cantor Melissa, for helping us learn the melodies and Hebrew for these services. We listen to your recordings and often enjoy your, be your beautiful voice. Mr. Lincoln, thank you for helping us prepare for this Dene Mitzvah. We appreciate how much time you spent helping us learn Hebrew for this day. Thank you to George Kelly and the Sunday School teachers for the many years of Jewish education and helping us learn Hebrew. To Alan Bunny, thank you for making family time so important and special by hosting our Sunday night dinners every week. Also, thank you for your love and support always. Bubby, we miss you so much. I thank you for passing down our Jewish heritage. We always love to add Bubby's secret ingredient to our matzo ball soup. Thank you, Elliot, for being a great big brother. And when you had your bar mitzvah, you've shown me that all the hard work and preparation were totally worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot, for your pep talks to help me get through studying Hebrew. You are a role model to me. When I watched you become bar mitzvah, I couldn't wait to do it myself. Thank you, Noah, for being the yin to my yang. We are so different in so many ways, but I think we balance each other. Thanks to you, I know a little bit about basketball and I can sort of dribble. <laughs> I love that you are my twin brother. Thank you, Evan. I know I go crazy when you sing at breakfast, but I wouldn't have it any other way. You add a lot of spice to our family with your cooking and art. And honestly, life would be too quiet and boring without you. Love you. Thank you, Dad, for being so supportive. You make me feel like every piece of art I make and every song I play is a masterpiece. Your positive outlook keeps us all going. Thank you for being an extremely loving dad. Thank you, Dad, for always saying your catchphrase, do your best, forget the rest. I can count on you for unconditional love. I don't think you've missed a single basketball game I played. I know you're always there for me. Thank you, Mom, for all the fun things we do together. You're always up to go to the farmer's market or, art, or an art festival, the things I really like to do. And when we go on an adventure, we get to hang out and spend a lot of time together. I love you. Thank you, Mom, for helping me my whole life and preparing me for my bar mitzvah. 
You take care of our family and make everything work. I know I can always count on you, and I truly appreciate that. Thank you all for being a part of our B'nai Mitzvah ceremony. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Well, dear Evan and Noah, so happy to celebrate with both of you and your parents and families this very special day. It's been about three years plus a few days since Elliot became bar mitzvah. And just a few more years from that since your dad became a bar mitzvah <laughs> on this same bima. And I have fond memories of being part of your parents, Courtney and Mike's life and celebrations over so many years. If I remember correctly, you were at his bar mitzvah. Correct. See? And, uh, here is what he looked like that his bar mitzvah was. <laughs> the same. The same. So, <laughs> a little more hair. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that's what attracted your mother, the picture, or the intellect, right? Behind the picture. Now, here he is a few years later at his confirmation. And uh, I got to know your dad closely because my son, David is also in that picture. They were classmates and I'm delighted, good friends. So we celebrate with your mom and dad. We celebrate with grandparents Alan and Bunny. We also honor the memories of the lives of your beloved grandparents who are no longer with us, Roz and Eric and Maribeth. And we're so pleased that your aunt, great aunt, and Sirota can be with us representing that generation. We also remember your great uncle, A.B., who passed away just recently and would have been very proud of you. Evan and Noah, we have just completed the festival of Sukkot, which was the time of Eliot's bar mitzvah a few years ago. Sukkot is the season of Thanksgiving for the harvest. In fact, the American holiday of Thanksgiving was shaped by the pilgrims around the biblical idea of the festival of Sukkot, harvest and thanksgiving. I know that this is a time of thanksgiving for your mom and dad and for your family as they rejoice in the very rich harvest, uh, the choice fruits that you represent for them. Your mom and dad talked about your being twins. You have referred to that. Uh, you share so much in common and yet you are very different people, as your parents pointed out. You respect and you love one another, and you honor each other's uniqueness. So generally, when I meet with bar and bat mitzvah uh, young people, I ask them to describe themselves to me, to tell me something about themselves. I decided to do it differently when I met with the boys. So, Noah, I ask you to describe Evan to me, and then I ask Evan to describe Noah. So, he told me that Evan is creative, and kind, and artistic, and we have heard about that. And then, Evan, I asked you to describe Noah, and you said that he was confident, and athletic, and kind. And the one word that occurred in both your descriptions was that word, kind. So you both share the quality of kindness, and you give expression through it, through your distinct interests. Evan, you love art, and music, and language. Noah, you're good at math and sports, particularly like basketball. 
in addition to kindness, you both have a creative spirit that you express in different ways. What is meaningful about the story of creation, as you so have beautifully explained, is not that God did it and it is done and over with. Creation is never done. Creation is an ongoing process, and we are part of it. And each of you brings your creative talents, temperaments, interest, love to complete creation, to make the world a better place. Jewish tradition teaches that human beings are God's partners in the ongoing process of completing creation. Noah and Evan, I have every confidence that the two of you are not only good partners to one another, but that you are good partners with God in making the world a more beautiful, kinder, and better place. As one of you noticed, the Torah tells us at the end of each day of creation that God looks around and says, it is good. And after creating the human being and getting ready to welcome Shabbat, God looked around the world and said, it is very good. And so on the Shabbat, as we look at the two of you, at the joy in your parents' eyes and families' hearts, we also say, it is very good. Thank you. Ask your mom and dad to put their arms around you, and we'll offer a prayer of blessing. May God who bless our ancestors, bless you, Evan and Noah, who have today been called to the reading of the Torah and the Haftarah. It's an expression of your desire to live a worthy Jewish life. May God who was with you from birth and enabled you to grow to your present stature in body and in spirit continue to be with you in the years ahead. May it be God's will that you continue to grow in health and in strength, in wisdom and in humility, in love and in loyalty, in faith and in courage, that you may ever be a joy to your parents, an honor to your people, a credit to your country. And true servants of God. And let us say, Amen. I'd like to invite your parents and you and all who would care to join in the Sheikh Yan, the prayer of gratitude for special occasions. Baruch Atah Adonai, Elohim Melech Ha'olam, Sheikh Yanu, Vicky Yanu, Vicky Yanu, Aslan Hazeh. Yes, it is the eternal God who has given you health and joys and the strength of standing together proudly and happily in this day. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite uh, mom or dad uh, to take the packages that are there. These are your. You can put your art stuff there. You can put your sports stuff in there. Um, but in the meantime, this contains uh, tokens of uh, congratulations and gratitude from the rabbis, the cantor, the uh, men's club, and sisterhood of the congregation. From the Federation. Uh, you'll find there a Torah text to continue your learning and love of Judaism, uh, Kiddush to celebrate holidays and festivals, and uh, uh, tokens of uh, that will remind you of the significance of this day in your lives. Mazel Tov. Thank you. Thank okay, you. You, you. May, you may hug and kiss the B'nai Mitzvah. Ah. Blessing, Yevarecha, Donai, Beishmerecha, may God bless you and keep you. Yaira, Donai, Panavelecha, Nifineka, may God be gracious to you and show you kindness. Isa, Adonai, Panavelecha, Yasen, Achim Shalom, may God look with favor upon you and grant you a life of health, of joys, and of peace. Amen. Amen. Okay. Want to go down and sit down with the family for the conclusion of the service? Yeah, here. Thank you. You can take those. Uh, we have grab this. many copies of that <laughs> in the records.
Uh, let's turn to page 204 and we'll join with the cantor in the singing of Ein Kelochenu. We continue on page 205, Aleinu. <laughs> Ask mourners and those who are observing your site for a loved one to remain standing. Uh, we continue on page 207 with the mourners Kaddish. Uh, on the Shabbat we remember loved ones who have died in recent days and weeks. We are observing the Shoshim for Sharon Ann Shukman and in recent days we suffered the loss as a congregation and community of our cantor emeritus Hazan Robert Salkin we extend condolences to his family, Irene Zolkin, Sonia Clark, Nicole Esslinger. On this Shabbat, we honor the um, yard site of Rabbi Regina Jonas, the first woman rabbi ordained uh, in Berlin, uh, who perished in Auschwitz during the Holocaust. And we also honor as a congregation the yard sites of two beloved spiritual leaders of the congregation, Rabbi Sidney Steinman who served from 1961 to 1976, and uh, Cantor Myro Glass from 1928 to 1956. The memory of all our loved ones inspires us to live lives of blessing. With our loved ones in our hearts, we turn to the words of the Kaddish, page 207. Yit Kadal ve Yit Kadash Shemei Rabba. Beolma divra kir ute ve yamlich malhute, Bechayekon ve yomechon, Ubechaye de hol beit Israel, Baagala ubisman kariv, Vemru amen. Yehe sheme rabba mevarach, Le alam uliol meol maya. Yit parach, ve ishtabach, ve poar, ve troman, ve it nasse, ve yit hadar, ve yit tale, ve yit halal, sheme de kudsha perichu. Le eila min kol birchata ve shirata. Tushpechata venechemata, da amiran bealma veimru amen. Yehe shlamar rabba min shemaya, vechayim aleinu ve al kol Israel veimru amen. Ose shalom bimromav, uya se shalom. 
עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואמרו אמן. May God the source of peace grant comfort to all who are bereaved, peace to the household of Israel and to all humanity, and let us say amen. You may be seated. It's my pleasure to call on our president, Todd Maurer, to extend greetings and make some announcements. Thank you, Rabbi. <clears throat> Shabbat Shalom. <clears throat> Evan and Noah, you did a, a wonderful job this morning. It's really an honor to be here as a president of the congregation uh, at your B'nai Mitzvah because I know your mother and I know your father. I've known your father for a very long time and I might be able to tell you a lot of stories of what he did when he was your age. <clears throat> of course, he'll prevent me from telling most of those. Um, I want to wish you a mazel tov to both of you, uh, to your parents, um, and to your brother, to your uh, grandparents, Alan and Bunny Young as well. Evan and Noah, you, you spoke beautifully, uh, you chanted beautifully, and remember to keep looking out for each other and keep being creative in this world. Uh, the one thing this world needs is a lot more creativity and a lot more art, so please continue that. And speaking of, of art and creativity, uh, this year's adult education series continues um, <clears throat> tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m., the Rejuvenation series, and it is going to be conducted via Zoom. Tomorrow's session is at 10.30 a.m., and you can look at our website, bez613.org, for more information and for the Zoom link. And we continue our creativity on Monday at 7.30 p.m., also via Zoom, with our Cocktail Judaism. Uh, Monday's topic will be Reproductive Rights After Texas. It will be a conversation with Dr. Lee Meltzer and Sheila Kennedy. Uh, this session will be moderated by Rabbi Sandy Sasso and hosted by Rabbi Dennis Sasso. So please join us uh, for tomorrow and on Monday and we continue to have more and more educational programs, which you can also find on our website. I thank you all for joining us this morning. Those of you who are here celebrating with the, the Rudy family and those of you who are watching via live stream, we look forward to having you uh, in the weeks ahead at many, many more uh, Shabbat services and adult education programs and other program we have here at Bethel. And I wanna wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Todd. We are going to conclude the service with the singing of Adon Olam on page 205, and then we will ask uh, the B'nai Mitzvah to hang around for a little bit to join us at the Bima. We have uh, a uh, special uh, photo op uh, with uh, the rabbis and the cantor. Uh, 205, Adon Olam. Shabbat Shalom, Mazel Tov, and thanks for joining us today. Looking forward.